HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Gear up for glory at Sky Zone with limited edition Sky Socks. These socks won't be around for long, so be sure to grab your pair today. Spring Break Photo Contest from March 1st to April 11th. Hotbox fans are encouraged to take their favorite cups on vacation and submit photos of their cup enjoying Spring Break. This mission with the most votes will win a year's supply of The Deal. Twelve deal certificates good for a large one-topping pizza, sticks, and two drinks. The winner will be announced April 13th. For full rules and entry, visit the link at the bottom. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Paul Novosel. And I'm Cooper Hudson, here with your daily newscast for Tuesday, March 27th, 2018. Are you 18? Will you be 18 before November 6th of this year? Register to vote today after school in the CCA. You'll need your driver's license. Tomorrow, two colleges or universities are visiting HSC. Savannah College of Art and Design and Tricochi University of Beauty Culture. If you're interested in meeting with either of these representatives, please sign up on Naviance or in the CCA office. Juniors and seniors, prom tickets are on sale now. Pick up your tickets during lunches in between Cafe B and the CCA as well as in the bookstore during all other school hours. Tickets are $45 this week, and the prize was up to $50 the week after spring break. Get your tickets now before they sell out. The Spring Blood Drive will be Wednesday, April 11th from 8 to 1. Sign up at lunch in either cafeteria until Thursday. Sophomores and juniors are interested in joining National Honor Society next year. Applications are available online. They're due by 2.55 p.m. this Thursday. All are invited to apply who have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. Now it's going over to Ryan with the club news. With the success of the Rally Dance Marathon, let's check in with Haley, the Rally Dance co Marathon Coordinator. Good. So this weekend at our 10th anniversary Dance Marathon, we raised $51,034.29, which was about $1,000 above our goal. And this was largely in part because of the support from the staff and our club members um, at HSC. This month we had our fashion show and our silent auction, as well as our 5K and the pep session, which helped a lot to increase that goal because March 1st, we were only at about $25,000, so we had to double it, and that was definitely because of the support from the people at HSC. There will be a Military History Club meeting today in Mr. Mayor's room, J224. All students are welcome to attend, and this meeting will begin immediately after school. Quite a bit of different cultures can be found here at HSC, but at times, information about them can be limited. Let's go to a segment from Cooper and Ryan to find out more about the Filipino, Palestinian, and Haitian cultures. Many cultures exist throughout HSC, but many students and staff may not realize what some of those cultures entail. We here at HSC TV investigated three different cultures to see what unique qualities they hold dear. Filipino culture is very family oriented. We have like this one festival. They dress up in a bunch of masks and they dance and it's very colorful to celebrate um, the passion of Christ during Holy Week. I would say that the Palestinian culture is very diverse. Also, it's a religious center and it's home to the free monotheistic religion. I would describe Palestine as kind of a melting pot. Adapting to American culture from Palestinian culture, I can't say it was easy. You always have to stay true to who you are. And I like to remind myself sometimes by carrying around this pin of the Palestinian flag with a key across it to remind me of where I came from. However, that doesn't mean, that means you should, you should still keep an open mind to new ideas and new cultures. Well, the first aspect that I really love about Haitian culture is the food. Um, the, the, we have rice and beans, we have uh, chicken, we have we eat a lot of like seafood. We also do like a lot of street food. It's kind of like McDonald's. We don't really have McDonald's in Haiti. Um, so that's our version of going to the street and, and getting some food like that. So one of the difficulties, I think, from transitioning uh, from Haitian culture to American culture is definitely the language. Um, I, when I first came here, I could only count to 10. So I think that's the number one um, barrier is the language. For HSC TV, this has been Ryan and Cooper. Now over to Max's sports news. The Royce freshman boys lacrosse team continued their winning ways, beating Carmel Monday night by a score of 10 to 4. The boys are back in action after spring break on Wednesday, April 11th, when they travel to Carmel for a rematch. The Hoops for Haiti 3 on 3 basketball tournament is tonight at 6 in the Ox Gym. Bring your friends, family, and co workers to come watch staff, students, and teachers battle it out on the court. Make a difference in the lives of people in Haiti by coming to watch or participate. 
Tickets are $3 at the door, and proceeds help bring entrepreneurship training and education to families overseas. If you still wish to play, you can sign your team up at the door. It's $5 to play. Take your best shot ever. Come support Hoops for Haiti tonight at 6. The first four rounds of the NCAA basketball tournament have come and gone and left a great amount of excitement and busted brackets. Let's take a look at the initial thoughts of some college basketball fans. Look at this. Exclamation. Perlitives, you can't come up with enough. The NCAA basketball tournament has begun and has already brought a ton of matches. Let's take a look at some of the initial thoughts of the tournament. Uh, I picked Michigan State to win a tournament like a lot of people. Uh, probably I picked them because uh, they had a lot of key games, and key wins in regular season, and I thought they felt they had a strong team to go into March. Um, I have Villanova winning it. Um, I like the Big East. Um, I picked them. Um, I felt like the East part of the bracket was um, a little bit easier for me to fill out. The hardest part about filling out a bracket is uh, choosing the upsets. Uh, easy wins like 16 seeds versus 1 seeds is pretty easy, but uh, figuring out when the upsets are going to be and who's going to upset who is. So it's hard to fill out a bracket because there are so many things that go into it. Um, it's one game. Um, most of these teams are playing teams that they've never played before um, or throughout the season. They're not in their conference. Um, you know, there are, you could go by statistics, you could go by strength of schedule, you could go by um, historically who's done well in the tournament um, or coaches that have historically done well in the tournament and gotten their teams prepared. Um, Off the mark and this year the confetti For HSC TV, this has been Jake Williams and Ben Atchison. And now back to your main anchors. That's all we have today, HSC. Have a terrific Tuesday. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.